Today I have a CPA and it's a Marie Teresa. So she's going to tell us about what she does as a CPA. And let me start with Marie. Thank you for being on our show today. Thank you, Chantel. I'm excited to be here. You know, I'm glad to have you. I'd like to know a little bit about what you do because there are different aspects of being an accountant and being a CPA yes. and how you got started in that industry. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, you know, just like um, every other accountant or CPA, I, I went to college. I went to Florida Interna International University, uh, got my bachelor's and master's in accounting. And I set for the CPA exam, which has all, you know, four parts. Um, but, you know, it's something that most uh, people don't know and most business don't know is that as a CPA, um, you have different avenues, just like a doctor would eventually choose an area of expertise as a CPA. You might be focused on financial audits, which is the assurance services. You could be in forensics, which requires a little bit more, uh, you know, specified uh, certification. You're watching Money Talk Viewpoint, and I'm Chantel Leeson. Welcome to our show today. We have some special guest for today. This is Judith uh, Pearson. Mm -hmm. I got it right. Judith and I, we've talked a little bit before the show about what you did. I want you to share with the audience. Now, you talk, we talked about, your, is it trust liability? Am I right? Yeah, it's really looking at risk management and best practices for all the varying uh, wealth transfer vehicles that we see in today's world. So whether it be high net worth, ultra high net worth, transferring their assets through trusts, or looking at private trust companies, setting up family offices, anything having to do with wealth transfer vehicles is what we look at. And we help families understand what the roles, responsibilities, and liabilities are of each role, how to create best practices to avoid any kind of litigation. And in case there is litigation, we put insurance policies in place. You know, lives, I'm in I'm in family office, and a lot of people like myself who started with uh, in the investment side. Some of us went from investment institutional to retail, and then ended up in family office because we want to work more closely with our clients to give them the best possible advice and services, and not just to like jump into how much commission we're going to make. And I right. didn't know much about trust liability. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you a question. Tell me about your background. I'm going to put you on a speaker view. I just want the audience to see you. Tell me about your background and how you got started uh, in, where, in where you are. So obviously with my gray hair, I've been around quite a while. I started in the in property casualty insurance industry in 1982, handling directors and officers liability insurance from both an underwriting and a brokerage perspective. And I go way back there because when I started in DNO insurance, we were literally teaching boards of directors what their fiduciary duties were. And it wasn't until merger mania of the 80s did you really get the construct of what we have today? And I believe trustee liability or family office liability, whatever you want to call it, is exactly where DNO was back in 1982. We're really talking to all the various people who serve in these roles. What are their roles? Who's talking to them about their roles and responsibilities? I mean, these are enormous jobs and their liabilities because they are putting their personal assets at risk. So I always start back there. I left in year 2000 and co-founded a company that provided title insurance for fine art and other important collectibles. And I got a few things out of that. One is there aren't many insurance people who have actually founded companies, raised capital, and had a liquidity event. And all the challenges in between, like we had uh, an, invest, uh, an investment manager who almost bankrupted us. We had a hedge fund whose you know, big, bad investments became our problem, even though we were a small company. And we got through all of this with no litigation. So I've actually gone through the process and understand it from the business owner's point of view. It also gave me really interesting insight into tax trust and estate issues for personal property. And that's really how I got to where I am today. By introducing to you our special guest, which is Mary Elaine Petrucci. 
Hi, Dennis. Thank you so much for having me on Money Talk Viewpoint. I do like to advocate for the caregivers in the sandwich generation. Boundaries are a big concern and um, for that generation. And boundaries are, really include our values, expectations, principles, or limits that you establish to keep yourself feeling safe physically, emotionally, and mentally. And those healthy boundaries permit you as a caregiver to be the person who you are. My guest for the day, this is Anna Marie Beebe Welch. She's the president of CD Companies. And Anna Marie, thank you for joining us today. How are you? Well, thank you. And I'm really a tip, which I love to give every business owner, uh, Never sign a contract or a lease without showing your insurance agent the insurance requirements. I'll tell you a story real quick. Architect came to me. Uh, he had an unsigned contract. I reviewed it. They wanted him to have a million dollars of cyber liability. Katie Fister, and they're going to talk to us about Medicare and its impact on your life and your well-being. Katie and Jonathan, how are you? Good. Great, John. Phil, thanks for having us. So Medicare is a federal program. It's for health insurance, and it is for individuals that are either over 65 or if they're disabled after a period of time or if they have a chronic condition such as end-stage renal disease or Lou Gehrig's disease. But there's also people that are eligible that if, if their spouse has met those requirements and they're 65 and over, um, even if they've never worked. I'm your host, Chantel Leeson. For those of you who are coming to us for the first time, we are an online talk show and financial education series. We are also here to help the entrepreneur, business owner, individual executive, whoever you may be, learn more about what it is you want to learn about when it comes to your money, but also the other side of that is your emotions that go with that money. Mm -hmm.